everybody, this is Sherry at djsundry.blogspot.com and today we are doing our seventh card in our animal series. So we are about to wrap up this series and I have to say it's been fun. It's a little bit outside of the box for me. Um, I'm not really into cutesy animals but I it worked really well for this series and I've really had a good time. The other thing that I'm kind of outside of the box is today's card and that is because today I am making a mouse. Um, <laughs> Earlier in the series, I did a snake, and probably if there are two things that I dislike more than probably anything in the animal kingdom, it's snakes and mice. I'm not afraid of mice. I don't like their germs. But anyway, that's a whole other story. But I thought this mouse was cute, and of course, it goes perfectly with of Mice and Little Men from K. Andrew Designs. And so I had to make a mouse card because they're so cute. Of course, Mickey Mouse is cute too, but... I just don't like the real thing. So let's talk about today's card. Now to start with, I went to create a critter and I found this little mouse. And he's actually four different layers. The bottom layer is the black and that creates the base and then his whiskers and his eyes and it cuts out his mouth. The next layer is the pink and I just found a uh, a scrap piece of pink and I cut the mouse out. Then the top layer is this gray and um, that's, I didn't have, of all of these to put the mouse together, everything was scraps except for the gray. And I didn't have any dark gray scraps and I've looked for them several times lately and finally I just went in and I found from the paper studio, I had this textured cardstock in a 12 by 12 sheet. And so I just put it on my Cricut mat and cut the little mouse out. So now I have a whole sheet to play with for scraps when I need dark gray scraps. Scraps. Plus it gives me a little bit of texture. And then the the last, the fourth layer is just his little belly part. And again, I used a little scri uh, scrap of almost parchment type cardstock and I cut out his belly. And I cut the whole thing out at three and a half inches. Now I've already put him together with all the layers. I used some zig glue. And then I've also popped him on some um, foam tape. Now after I got I actually ended up cutting the black layer twice and after I did the black layer the first time and had it um, almost completely attached I realized that at some point I had lost one of his whiskers and so I had to recut it and if you see here his arms kind of raggedy and so is his ear and that's the beauty of this particular cartridge in the way it layers the, it layers in the full pieces with the exception of the belly every piece is a full piece in this little guy and um, so the bottom layers, I knew that that wouldn't matter because it wasn't going to show, but it does give some nice stability to your um, image. So this is our little mouse. And again, he was from Create a Critter and he's cut at three and a half inches. So let's move on with the card. Now, I was thinking about this card and in my mind, I had black and white polka dots. And I would have loved to have had some big black and white polka dot paper, maybe something, oh, like this, only in black and white but I didn't have any. And so I pulled out my LaCreme matte stack from Die Cuts With A View and I went through it. Now these are for the most part fa fairly elegant papers, but I found some papers that I thought would work. And so I pulled this little pattern here and I pulled this pattern and then I also pulled a tiny polka dot pattern. Now um, I was just recently watching a video from Paper Tray Inc. It was this week's Make It Monday video and it talks all about pattern papers and if you haven't seen that video I highly recommend it. I learned so much from it. I'm not really using as much with it as I did but it talked about using bold papers and I just learned so much it was a great video so um, go to YouTube and go to Paper Tray Inc's channel and you can find that but what I've done is I just chose two of these now this background is a pretty yellow tint but I really wanted red and after I get it all together I think it looks okay if not it's a fun card anyway but I think it's going to look okay now these mat stacks I want to waste as little as possible because I love these mat stacks because it scales the size the size I want it but um, you could easily use a whole piece on a card and just have scraps left so what I did is I took a piece of um, cardstock 
rather than cutting like this is the larger piece rather than cutting that to fit on my card I took a piece of cardstock and cut it to the size I would want which in this case is four inches by five and a quarter and so I did that so that I could have a base to work with because I didn't want to put it directly on my card in pieces either because I want to tie a ribbon around it and so let's go ahead and start with this this first one is four inches by three inches and you'll see it's going to completely cover you'll never see the the white if I do it right anyway it just provides that base that I need and then this stripe piece I cut it two and a half by four inches now the purple polka dot or I mean I'm sorry the the little black and yellow polka dot that I was going to use I was going to kind of put over the seam but I decided I wanted to do something else instead okay so this is how that's going to look and this is where my little mouse is going to go but I wanted a pop of red so for my card base I chose red cardstock and I'll show you the inside in a minute and it's just the standard a2 size eight and a half scored at four and a half by five or scored at four and a quarter by five and a half inches wide and it's going to open that way so this is going to go on right like so now like I said I know that typically you don't see a lot of black and yellow together I mean black and yellow all the time red and yellow but I really like the way this is turning out so before I turn that down I went and I found in my stash again and I think I got this from the dollar spot at Target at Valentine's I found this piece of red ribbon and I am going to attempt on camera to tie a bow now you all know that I'm not so great at bows and actually I don't really even have enough to make much of a bow so I'll try it once or twice but if I can't get it I think we'll just tie a little knot bow because there's not a lot of ribbon here um, it's just the last little bit that I had actually I think we may just make it work now I don't want to tape it down quite yet because I'm not exactly sure where on my card I'm going to position it yeah I think that looks fine so we have that unexpected pop of color and our mouse is going to go somewhere at about like that and then we have our sentiment and our sentiment is have a mice day again that's from K Andrew designs from um, of mice and little men and I just cut I stamped my image and then I just trimmed around where I wanted it um, just where I thought it made it nice margin and then I wanted to have some fun with it so when I think of mice I think of cheese and of course I think of Swiss cheese I remember as a child thinking that um, Swiss cheese was um, made by mice eating in it and so what I thought I would do is I would get my paper punch and just instead of notching um, you know using a corner rounder or something to add interest I thought I would just cut some little holes kind of like a mouse would leave in some cheese and I don't know kind of quirky but I thought it would be a good idea so I'm just going to just do that now I do have a Swiss cheese Fiskars punch um, but it was too busy I didn't like the way it looked so I then got another piece of the um, stripe and I'm going to put that on there now what I want to decide here is first of all where I'm going to put it and which direction do I want to keep it in the same direction or do I want to turn it this way I think I want to turn it hmm. let's mix it up a bit and put it on just like that so that's where that's going to go so now that's about perfect for where my bow is so now we can go ahead and adhere it to our card base so that we can have plenty I'm going to use plenty of adhesive because I don't want the bulk of the ribbon to pull off the card okay so we'll put that in right on our card base right so even about I just eyeball my margins which is much easier when I'm not on camera than it is when I am on camera it just because I can actually see what I'm going to do and now as I'm turning this over and you can see I actually made a mistake with my stamping and didn't get it inked real well and so I had to stamp it over again but there's no reason to waste because you can just turn it over nobody will ever know except for well whoever sees the video 
All right, so that's going to go right about there. So let's go ahead and adhere our little mouse. Pull off this um, sticky from the foam tape. And I think this is just some um, foam tape I got in the scrapbooking section at Walmart. Just some, um, I think they're doing Elmer's now is their main adhesive that they're carrying, at least at my Walmart. I don't know, maybe at your Walmart they're carrying something different, but I've noticed that their glue and there's foam tape and their a lot of their things are just um, Elmer's now. Alrighty. Have him popped up there. Oh, he wants to pop up. And I don't think I'm going to make this pop. I think I'll just go ahead and adhere it with some ATG. And we'll just put that right about there. I know there's a lot of patterns going on in that card, but I, I like the way it's I like the way it is laying out. I didn't quite get that as straight as I would like. There we go. Alright, so have a nice day. Now I'm going to do one more thing on the front, but before I do, I want to show you what I did on the inside. I went ahead and already finished off the inside, and I just took a place of piece of plain white cardstock and again using the same thing that I did on the front I just cut holes in it I didn't distress it I didn't do anything else but just cut the holes and then I took from scripture sayings from K Andrew designs and my black excelsior pad I stamped in everything give thanks and so that's on the inside and then this is the outside and now the last thing I want to do with my card here Let's find where I've hidden my glossy accents. Oh, it's over here. And I think we're going to really make his eyes and nose and mouth pop. So we're just gonna put a little bit of glossy accents right in his eyes. Now remember, if I like to use glossy accents quite a bit. So if you've seen my videos, you've seen this tip before, but remember that when it goes on, it goes on cloudy but when it dries, it dries clear. And it'll just give a little bit of sparkle to the, his nose and just kind of make it stand out. Um, I don't think I'm going to do his mouth, but I think, well, maybe I will. I'm going to do his whiskers though. Let's just give it a little bit of, just a little bit of texture, a little bit of, not like we don't have a lot of patterns going on here, but it just really adds, it almost makes it look like you put it over um, an epoxy sticker or something. And I just really like that effect sometimes anyway. Okay, there we go. So when you, when you see your com the completed picture on the video, it shouldn't be cloudy anymore. And you'll see his little glossy eyes. Mice to me have a little black beady eyes. So there we have it. Have a mice day and in everything give thanks. Um, and everything give thanks. So thanks for watching and have a great day.